during cross-examination of Angela Wagner, an attorney for her son George keyed on two themes, Angela's lies and her paranoia. The defense team's goal is to cast blame for the 2016 Pike County massacre on Angela, her husband Billy, and George's brother Jake, but not the man on trial for murder. George knew his family had done a lot of bad things in their life, but he had never known of them to ever commit a crime of violence. He couldn't believe it. He denied it. Attorney Richard Nash made that comment when he gave his opening statement in defense of George Wagner. Ohio BCI agents say the 31-year-old, along with his brother Jake Wagner and their parents, Billy and Angela Wagner, executed a plan to kill eight members of the Roden family on a single night in 2016. George Wagner maintains his innocence, despite what his mother has said on the witness stand this week. This afternoon, Angela Wagner testified she's guilty of the murders. When a prosecutor asked who else is guilty, the 52-year-old Wagner said, quote, all four of us, including George, Jake, and Billy. In exchange for her testimony, the state is expected to remove the death penalty against all four Wagners. That's part of a plea deal Angela reached last year when she confessed five months after Jake did the same. Angela will spend 30 years in prison while Jake faces multiple life sentences. It's those deals Nash focused on when the trial began. The evidence will be that Jake and Angela have conned the state of Ohio here as well. They've conned the state of Ohio into the most heinous crime, into a 30-year sentence. In a sentence most deserving of death, he escapes with life. In order to avoid the death penalty, they must implicate George. Now on the stand today, Angela Wagner admitted she's been a liar and a thief, and she talked about the paranoia she felt as investigators started closing in and asking her family questions. She also said that she did regret what happened back in 2016, saying she has remorse and is more than sorry. Reporting live tonight in Waverly, Todd Dykes, WLWT News.